Finishing off people here, but Copenhagen Wolves, because they have this Rengar or Yana comp, can engage onto Gambit unless there's some very good deep ward. So we have to see how Gambit wants to ward. With Gambit, you talked about it earlier. Mm. We see a lot of early action and it often backfires. We have seen them die very early on, fall behind. Now it's all about the top lane, however. Diamond once again looking for a gank. Well, Kubon does manage to get the belly slam on him. Good flash burnt out from Youngberg. Have they got the damage to follow it through? He's going to get slowed down in this one. Diamond flash for it. Kubon flash for it. First blood could come in. It's the belly slam from Kubon that will get it. Unlimited now. He gets caught out. Aqua Prison. And he should be getting away from this one. Well, it's going to follow through. Walla, in fact, gets the kill on there. It's Unlimited with the Ignite that got the kill. They traded so well. Genja falls back and Unlimited lived. Diamond maybe can get that extra kill and get him fourth evolution in the game. Of course, that's a long way off. We've got a long way to get there. There's a great hook on Genja this time around from Unlimited. Aqua Prison not following through. Broken Shot stealthed up, jumping in. Hasn't got a Frosty Sacks there. Misses the stun on Kubon. Kubon actually going huge here. He could try and 2v1 them. He's going to try and turn it around. Gets the belly slam on both of them. No help though. Kubon's in trouble. He's going to go down. They finally get the kill. But if there was any little hint of help from Gambit, he would have been... So Brungshot is there for counter gank oh, look at that because timing. he expected Diamond to be here and he is here and now Brungshot already backed away. The ward timed out, Unlimited gets slowed, gets slowed again, Aqua Prison catches him, he's going down. Who will get the kill? This time it's Genja. Nice and he kills a Brungshot, he actually went down first because he expected Diamond to be in this bottom lane but he didn't want to recall. So easy dragon for Copenhagen Wolves. Nice turn around, that's going to give them the gold advantage. It should. Turn this one back in. There we go. Gold advantage goes their way. It's only a tiny one, but it's what counts, and it's the first big objective of the game for the Wolves. Pink ward on it currently from the Wolves, so they will see it coming. TP. Teleport for Kubon coming around the backside. It's Wallet he was looking for, but instead he's going to take an easy kill off Unlimited. And that will go to Genja. All right, so two kills on Genja now. There's no dragon, however. So Kuma couldn't actually follow up after his tele. He is up against a lot of magic damage, so no surprises he needs to get that Negatron Cloak in. He's got in fairly early here, looking to be the assist. He's already popped his ultimate, didn't really need it around there. His Genji's going to be the focus target, didn't have the Ferocity stacks available, so he didn't get the stun. Eddie was caught out instead to kill them the less, but they would have much preferred Genja. Such a good setup here, and you can do it yourself up once again, and possibly go for Edward or Genja, there's no flash on Genja's side. Gambit over there to start this dragon, and Copenhagen and Wolves, they need to TP now if they want to contest it. Yeah, they've not reacted quick enough, that's going to go down, Diamond secures that one with the smite. He's now a little bit out of position, has to pop his own stealth, oh, he's going to come around, Broken Shard using that stun, the Frosty Stacks, the death sentence is indeed, does what it says on the tin, locks him down. Now coming down, Youngbuck teleports in, gets straight on towards Edward, explosive cast, not enough to force him away, Belly Slap comes down from Kubon, just destroys him, Soren now running away, and Limited caught out. Genja pulling the damage down. He flashes in towards the pit. Eddie's having to kite around. Youngbook catches him out. Nick with next to no mana, though. He's in trouble here. They're trying to chase on towards Youngbook, but he's such a tanky foe. Genja may have enough to try and shred him down, but there's the lantern pulling him to safety. It's a two for two, and the dragon. Then he's actually chasing Edward instead of staying with the rest of the team. And then I'm trading uh -oh. to Brokta, though. Kubon in trouble. He has to flash away. Youngbook's going to chase him down. Belly slams away. Should be enough. Cleave will not land. Youngbook's going to have to tower dive this one. Gets the slow. Explosive cast. Oh. Walks him away. And Kubon around. Hasn't backed off yet. So he may well try and run interference here. Unlimited caught out with the Acropis. And here comes Broken Shot. Pounces in. I think he's straight, straight up back on towards him. Doesn't manage to land this way. Now, oh, he's got the stun available. Diamond comes in. Lancer comes around there. Explosive cast. Forces him back in towards him. Belly slap cast down. Six bug comes in. Hey! Kill. And Nick gets himself the kill. Now Unlimited. He goes down. Genja gets the kill. And Galmi come out two for zero. And we have often talked about Kuba not performing well. There's a ward from Copenhagen Wolves. Actually, you know, it's the green ward. So now he can finally TP in and join. But first, you can just push the wave all the way into the tower over this top lane. Oh, and Limited cut out of position, has to flash away from that one. Youngbuck, meanwhile, holding in the top lane, not teleporting in just yet. The rest of Gambit move back into position at the Dragon. Keep your eyes on Youngbuck, of course. See when he joins. Yes, Here he comes. Teleport comes around the side, and Limited already executed off the side there. Diamond jumps in, gets a mass slow on all of them. Explosive cast forces Soren back into the team. Belly slam on him. Zinc bomb comes bouncing through, and he is just annihilated where he stands. Now, broken shot. He's running away. The rest of Gambit can chase as they please. And it's another two for zero. Dragon's still alive, though. Hasn't gone down. And the Wolves simply trying to run interference. I don't think they can prevent this one, though. Broken Shard is alive. It'll be, have to be a we'll be death dragon. sentence of a smite if he wants to go for it. Youngbook, he's got to be careful. He's Hacker Prison down. The rest of Gambit may try and chase back onto him. Instead, it looks like he will be safe.
And what gambit is Gucci Mind of Magic Resist? They're still enough on the side of Diamond, even Kubon, and now Edward, of, of course, with the locket. Oh, Nick 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 up, There's the combo. That's what they were looking for. Ziggs goes down. The Broken Shard and Shockwave combo of Soren. Maybe, just maybe, done enough. They're going to push in this mid turret, taken low. That's going to be the, the ultimate down. That's one tower down. They can keep on pushing here, but you see teleport coming in. Kubon now joins the fight, and he can clear waves just as well. Aqua Prison landed perfectly on Warlight there. Was followed up by the explosive gas. Diamond just waiting off the side there. Does throw out his rocket. The wave comes riding on through, not really pulling the damage down. Diamond looking to pounce on this one. Will they follow through? Young was taking low. Pounces off the side. The ultimate comes out of Unlimited to help them disengage, and they should get away. Let's see. Oh, they might be dropped. There's only three members oh, from Gambit here. Bad pounce from Diamond. Oh, Youngbuck completely, as you mentioned, comes in solo. He's delaying them as best he can as the rest of the oh, world. Minute. Shockwave just came out of cooldown. Eddie gonna get caught out. Doesn't have his wave. He's gonna get dropped down. Now Kubon's trying to catch on towards Broken Shard. He's low. Mega Inferno Bomb. Not enough to finish him off. Diamond flashes in and gets that one down. He's gonna have the reset. There's a giant wave on the bottom lane. Of course, that's gonna cause problems for the inner turret. Look at Nick and Genja waiting for this one. Yumba still at full health though, but Genja should be able to tank it down fairly well. The rest of Copenhagen Wars trying to bully them away from the dragon. In for the dragon, side wave has been dealt with. The rest of the wolves are gonna collapse around them. There's three on three, but the smite is not available for wolves, so it should be easily secured by Gambit. They're fed defensively in the corner, but he don't fight a backed up Gambit, that's for sure. The Russians will come out for a fight. Walleye turns around, tries to get the aggression back down. Now Walleye, Youngbook getting caught out with the Acrobat, and Gambit will disengage. But now that Kubon's joining the party, they may fancy this fight. The limited front forefront, he's gonna take a lot of damage. The Mega Inferno Bomb doesn't really be effective, and Gambit still back away. The walls, they may try and push the mid turret from this one. They should do limited, sorry. No, full light was actually back in base. So it could be a very good move by Gambit here. Yeah, they're taking out to half. There's the teleport. Youngbook comes in. I think they're just going to throw down some mines and the Baron will turn okay. onto Youngbook and they will peel off. Diamond caught out of position here, singled out, and he's in trouble. He's taking all the damage. Can he kite it around though? Stealths up, gets a heal. Broken shot, baited in and taken down. Now Soren gets blown in there. Sonia's outclass used, but he's gonna simply get pounced on, and that will be a double for Nick. Now the rest of the walls, you can see Unlimited having to use his ultimate to keep them away, but Gambit just moved back into position and start the Baron off. So Gambit, they started the Baron to force the teleport out of Jumbok, and as soon as he poured it in, they just backed away from Baron. He took a lot of they're going in again. Diamond pounces in. Unlimited catches a death sentence on Kubon. Not the fat man he was looking for. Youngbuck now focused on Eddie. Manages to get the heal finally off. Nick Chase is down and kills out the AD carry of Warlight and Copenhagen Wolves. We said they just had to be passive. They just had to sit back and watch the game play out and try and make the decisions based on that. But instead, they went aggressive. They tried to force a move out and Gambit happily capitalized with the Baron. And again, the engage from Broken Shot is onto Diamond. He was all alone. He didn't get onto a squishy member. Diamond almost went down, but as soon as he jumped away, the rest. Remember, they have got that Baron buff on them. And now the rest of Gambit do react, moving to position. Still a four on one. Here's a five. And that is Gambit securing themselves the fourth dragon of the game. Looking very good. Nick's really been picking up. He can't sit around Broken for too long. In. Broken Shot stealthed up. Getting a look towards Pouncing. Nick separated from the team. He's going to pounce towards him. Hasn't got the Frosty Stacks. Now he should be able to stun him up. Oh, he wasted it. Nick managed to pull the Zonias. He will go down, though. That's going to get caught down. Didn't get his ultimate off in time. Youngbook's going to try and pounce away. Diamond hasn't quite got the damage to finish and him off. Aqua Prison there. catches on towards him. That's a one-on-one -on -one trade mid laner for top laner. I think Gambit may back away. And Honest, ignoring the fact that they could go for that top inner. Oh, Broken Home Guard charge, stealthed up. Home Guard in, pounces in there. Hasn't got the uh, shockwave What's ball the shockwave? on him. Now it's on him, but it's not close enough. Instead, the shockwave finally pulls in. It catches out Diamond and Edwin, but it doesn't matter. The Mega Inferno Bomb turns around from Nick. Belly Slam not landing from Kubon. It was only a one death, but it's enough to take the inhibitor turret. So Bronkshot, he jumped into Gambit. There was no broken shot stealthing. He's looking for kills. He's not going to find them, now. it seems. His ultimate's run out, but he will keep chasing. Catches on towards Edwin and Genja. Youngbuck comes around the side now, though. Mega Inferno Bomb enough. Genja takes him down. Kubon comes around the side. Youngbuck taken very low from this one. Explosive gas forces him back in. Genja just shreds down his health. Nick picks up the final kill. And Baron the Wolves 
trying to chase on. The Baron up in four seconds. Now it spawns, and the Wolves are just dropping like flies. Diamond just going to claw his way through this one. Shockwave not going to land his it's time. And Genja gets the kill. They could indeed push up and finish the game right here. 50 second death timers. Minions in the mid lane here. Super Minions coming in the bottom side as well. A long time before the members from Copenhagen respawn. At least should be inhibitor and the Baron if they don't want to go for the finish. But do they have time? That turret is going down fast. Do, That's going to be do. one down. They're going to push on through. That's going to be the inhibitor. Super minions continuing to push the bottom wave. Doesn't matter. They're going to tank this one through. Nexus to it is next. That's going to get focused out. And Liberty gets caught out. He gets poked. Walleye also caught out. Zonia's out. That's from Kubon. That's a Genja kill on the fountain. Genja very low on health though. Walleye almost shredded him down. One Nexus to it will fall. The second will go. And Gambit's hopes stay alive. But the Wolves can no longer make promotion as Gambit take victory over the Wolves. Such a good performance here. We've seen this kind of siege of poke comp from Gambit before, where they just fell behind early and couldn't actually do anything. This game, however, they got the Dragons, they got the goal lead, some very nice TPs by Kubon as well in the early game to make sure they got kills onto Genja, and they used it to control of the Dragon, poke down Copenhagen Wolves, and just looked so good. Fantastic performance, Gambit. Pressure off, and suddenly they're playing well. And would you believe it? Now the pressure Kedja is back. Plays something other than Caitlyn and goes 7 0 9 on Cogmore. Bet you wish you had him as a flex pick in your fantasy team. Let me guess. On the bench right guess. Now. Oh, he's on your bench. He's on the bench. Well, <laughs> doesn't matter. You've already won the league. Very but nonetheless, true. the game was vital for Gambit. They can still chase down that seventh place. Of course, they still need to go 4-0. It's a big, big deal for them. And the Wolves, though, that puts them out. That puts them out of contention. They are now also facing yeah. relegation or promotion playoffs, whichever way you'd like to word it. Everybody knows exactly what it is. It means your world championship dreams are gone. And now get the seventh place so you can choose a team.